Cape Talk. Call 021-446-0567. Good morning. I'm Crystal Audison standing in for Africa Milani. I'm on early breakfast. At eight, it's eight minutes to um, six. And before we end of the show, we're having a conversation with Malusi Similani. He is the civic um, part of the Civic Rights Cluster at the Southern Africa Litigation Center. And we're talking um, mental health, patriarchy, and the criminalization of attempted suicide. So firstly, October is World Mental Health Awareness Month. And the, on of, tomorrow is, of course, a day for people and communities to unite, improve knowledge, raise awareness, and drive actions that promote promote and protect everyone's mental health. And this year's theme is mental health is a universal um, right. Um, but of course, Malusi has been taking up the issue around attempted suicide, recognizing it as a public health issue rather than a criminal one. We've got Malusi on the line from Eswatini. Good morning, Malusi, and thank you so much for joining us. Good morning to the listeners. Um, thank you, Malusi. We will have a bit of a delay. Um, so, Malusi, just in terms of, um, can you just give us some context around um, suicide rates in Africa? Uh, first, of, first of all, thank you for allowing us to talk about this fundamentally important issue of mental health. Mental health has become one of the great has uh, a pressure point in terms of development. The World Health Organization says it's fundamental that mental health is taken care of and it's prioritized because it's one of the biggest players in ensuring that there is sustainable development, which is why it's actually part of SDG3, which is good health and well-being. And we have uh, the 2000, 2023 World Review Report, actually, which puts six of our African countries at the very top. And I'm talking about Eswatini, Swaziland, Malawi, Malawi, Zimbabwe, and Lesotho, and these are countries with the leading uh, reports of um, attempted suicide, which shows that there is a great deal that needs to be uh, taken care of when it comes to mental health. This means investing in the healthcare system that will actually prioritize and include uh, mental health and ensuring that our citizens are being taken care of. For that context, Malusi. Um, but of course, there's also a legal perspective because we know that there's different legal approaches in different African countries around, towards attempted suicide, some actually moving away from criminalization and others actually retaining it as a crime. Could you give us some um, analysis around which country is doing what and what's happening in, um, in our region especially? Uh, there, is the, there is this uh, unfortunate colonial era of criminalizing attempted suicide, and you can imagine it comes from the British colonial rule, which unfortunately the British themselves have actually moved past this. And we are seeing countries like Lesotho, Ghana, and Rwanda, who have recently decriminalized attempted suicide, but unfortunately it still remains a crime in countries like the Gambia, in Kenya, in Somalia, in South Sudan, in Tanzania, in Malawi, Nigeria. But we are happy that as the Southern Africa Litigation Center, we are supporting a group in, in Kenya who are actually uh, petitioning the constitutional court to ensure that they decriminalize attempted suicide because we cannot look at attempted suicide as a criminal matter. We need to start looking at it as a public health issue so that we ensure that people are being taken care of. Mm. Well, Lucy, I'm really still shocked that um, it's still on the statute books in Kenya and Nigeria, Malawi and Tanzania, um, you know, it's, it's just absolutely shocking and it's good to hear that the litigation center is taking up and assisting some countries. Um, and now, of course, there's also the issue of gender disparities, because if we look at um, suicide rates across Africa and the world and then the difference between male and female suicide rates, if we look at countries like Lesotho and Eswatini, um, what's happening in those countries, um, Lucy? It's, it's really it's really sad when you look at let's look at Lesotho for instance in Lesotho it's reported on the World Population Review that 72 out of 100,000 people have attempted suicide but if you then break it down between male and female uh, the the male they they are they are about 120 but the female is it's only about 30 but now when you look at these issues it talks to how comfortable and easy it might be for women to want to uh, seek mental health care and actually go to hospital talk to someone talk to therapies but for the men it becomes a problem and what we are seeing 
socially is the problem of Patrick. What we're seeing is this old mantra of men don't cry. Men are supposed to be strong. And this, as a result, pushes a lot of men to want to attempt suicide and perhaps sometimes succeed because they are afraid of coming out and being vulnerable and talking about their feelings, which we need to, as a country, invest more in ensuring that men can understand that it's okay to speak about your feelings and it's okay to take care of your mental health because it's costing us a lot. It's not just in Lesotho. It's actually in almost all of the countries that the World Population Review has looked at in terms of disparity between males and females. Males are one of the leading people who will attempt suicide when we compare them to, to, to females. Well, Lucien, of course, I mean, with the socio-economic situation in um, our countries really die. I mean, I was in Eswatini last week and um, just food insecurity, you know, people having one meal a day and just the pressure on there's no work. Um, it, it's really, I think, also impacting on um, people's mental health. And if you can't support yourself, I mean, here in South Africa, we saw in the Eastern Cape a mother, um, you know, not only you know, killing her children, but also killing herself because we do see that poverty, inequality, and that just um, survival is really impacting on people's health. Now, earlier, Melusi, you mentioned um, public health and that there needs to be uh, much more investment. Are you seeing some investment in um, this issue in, uh, regarding the public health system? Um, and what um, would the Southern Africa Litigation Center take up as a, a public health issue? I think the first thing that as a litigation center we're looking into is the conversation around decriminalizing attempted suicide because that is only just one of the first steps in ensuring that as a country, as a continent, as a region perhaps, we start paying more attention to to attempted suicide as a cry for help, not as a crime itself. So tomorrow, for instance, we're having a webinar where we'll be discussing how do we move around decriminalizing. But of course, we cannot work on this on a legal perspective alone. This is a public health issue as we've already mentioned, which means that stakeholders need to come to the playing field, the government needs to come to the playing field, families and almost everyone in society needs to come together so that we discuss how we contribute towards building a healthcare system that is inclusive of mental health. Because it's not perhaps only an an issue of the state investing resources, it's also an issue of society welcoming the conversation around taking care of one's mental health so that we can build a society that thrives. Thank you so much. And that was Malusi Simalani from the Southern Africa Litigation Center discussing suicide and mental health um, in Africa. The October is, of course, World Mental Health Day and such an important issue around the fact that suicide is still criminalized or attempted suicide still criminalized in countries like Kenya, Malawi, Tanzania and Nigeria, but also that there needs to be more public health investment so that we talk about it. There is help for people. But of course, we also heard that given the dire socioeconomic issues in our, not only in South Africa, but in the region, in Africa, um, that people are often finding themselves that they feel there's no way out and then they attempt suicide.